Welcome to the Selling from the Stage podcast, where we uh, introduce new ideas and concepts to speakers that speakers and authors who may or may not be completely clueless when it comes to monetizing their message. In the golden age of the speaking business, some of the most renowned speakers like Tony Robbins, Jim Rohn, and Zig Ziglar have built empires around their audio programs. We saw speakers turn their live presentations into multi-million dollar businesses. Many speakers have tried to duplicate the success. However, it seems like they forgot how important audio programs were for many of the legends. Today, incorporating music gives us even more possibilities. With this podcast, we will explore them all. gonna chop it up a little bit you know quick conversation this isn't necessarily like a full episode that y'all about to be getting from this uh first season as we get into the selling from the stage you know concepts and ideas but we just going to kind of get right into some of the nuts and bolts of you know what it would look like to take your message to the next level you know by practicing some of the same strategies and tactics that your favorite musician does so with that lee what's up brother how you doing Thanks for having me on. Yeah, man, it's a, it's, a, it's a good day. You know, happy. You know, there was no other way to start this, you know, without you know talking to you, of course. Sure. You know? So, uh, if you could just tell the people about, you know, int- introduce yourself a bit, and you know, tell them about yourself. Sure. Uh, I'm Lee. I run a record label. Uh, manage about five producers. Um, we work with majors in the music industry on the urban side. But uh, uh, when I met Sean, we kind of, um, you know, put two and two together. Um, of how I could potentially help speakers too when it comes to, like you said, bringing up the message um, and incorporating it into a, you know, sound versus just a speech, kind of engage with the audience and, uh, you know, give them something to listen to because I find myself skipping between podcasts and music, but, you know, podcast has the positive message I'm looking for. Music has the fun little bounce that I'm looking for to hype myself up. So pairing the two together was kind of a genius concept. So the second you brought that up, everything just clicked in my head. And I kind of just put a couple projects aside just to make sure that we, you know, we're able to put this to fruition and get this to the masses because this isn't something I've heard before, you know. Instagram will go to the extent or TikTok will go to the extent of giving you the opportunity to put a, you know, already released, published and distributed song on top of your audio and give you the opportunity to pair the two. But when it comes to actually giving the speaker the ability to own the rights, the master and the publishing to their own sounds that they're going to be using and promoting as opposed to promoting some other song that's you know viral, it gives them the opportunity to monetize in that avenue on top of also giving them the ability to have a viral sound themselves. Because sometimes there's content clippers that basically you know will put an AI generated um, you know, video together and put a sound behind it that kind of has the motivating message that the, they want to put to their audience. And that sound can be repurposed and in, in turn become viral itself, as opposed to, you know, just scouring around for the, the trendiest, uh, you know, motivational music. There's about t- 20, 30 that cycle in and out. But when it comes down to the metrics, like social media has, um, the top 20 sounds are instrumentals. Um, yeah. So what we figured was like, let's put a package together that incorporates their, you know, conferences and, and, you know, motivational speeches, chop it up on the instrumental, give that to them and also give them the instrumental version for them to do with as they may um, give them the retaining rights to the um, audio and let them have at it because at the end of the day, they can end up repurposing it too. Um, production isn't cheap, so uh, giving them the opportunity to, oh, you know, I like this uh, this concept and I love this sound, I actually have a better idea to put something on top of it. It'll give them the freedom to kind of just use that sound, repurpose it, maybe make it a, a walkout intro or maybe make it a, uh, um, you know, the beginning of some, you know, podcast that they're doing. Just give them the rights to, you know, the music. So that's kind of uh, what we're doing right now. Absolutely. It's a completely untapped industry and opportunity 100%. right now for speakers to really do their thing. And the music industry has kind of painted the picture, you know, really on what's possible 
when you monetize and maximize your message. You know, you got Grammy Awards, you got mm-hmm. all of these things in communities and big blocks. And I think that's what we really about to bring to the table when it comes to putting out these albums and things for these speakers. You know, we have our new speaker label, uh, slash speaking bureau. And um, I think that all of our speakers, you know, we're doing group collaborations. We have a speaker in here right now, uh, and uh, she's gonna do some great things. And we'll, you'll hear from her in a second. Uh, but um, yeah, this is this is really gonna be really dope. So yeah, man, I love the vision, and I'm here for it. I'm really excited to see how far we could take this because, like you said, it's untapped, and the sky is the limit when it comes down to getting a message across. There's billions of people in the world. A matter of just scaling it and getting it to the right audience. In turn, building ourselves an audience and keep funneling our audience into their audience and compounding everything together to where this this music album concept really just takes off. You know what? I think we're going to have to end up making some kind of award show. You know, something similar to the Grammys, but within the speaking business. Yeah. You know, um, it's only right. massive, yeah. Top streaming speakers, you know, segmented it by different categories, like what conference, like top conferences, like top leadership speaker, right. most innovative speaker, best speaking album, you know. I don't know if this is an announcement or something like that that we're going to be doing that, but, like, I think it has to be done now. Like, it's yeah. only right. Yeah, just, I mean, just, one step at a time, let's uh, let's get these albums to the right people because I know once the right audience hears it, the next question would be, sorry, that's an alarm. My phone is silent. Sorry. I'm calling right now. See, it's busy over here, man. Yeah, but... Yeah, the next step, the second we get this to the right audience is scaling this into some sort of rewards show or program where, you know, the best speaking, you know, album gets some sort of reward for it, you know, fruit for the labor. Uh, But yeah, it's a it's a really fun and interesting process going through it because coming from, you know, the, you know, music industry, um, taking vocals and putting them together on the beat kind of just happens uh, simultaneously when you're recording in the studio, but we've kind of rearranged the process of it to take a uh, either uploaded video from YouTube or uh, a voice recording of the the speaker and uh, mesh it together with the beat. And what I'll do is sometimes it's not on cue, so I'll sit there and play around with the vocals and make sure that like the impactful message comes in right before the the bass comes in and starts yeah. rumbling, so you can kind of feel the the yeah. message. Um, but uh, yeah, the whole process has been something brand new, but completely fun because it kind of put me in in a different uh, perspective of making music, um, whereas it's not you know rhyming and you know making a song. It's actually just sitting and listening to something impactful and letting the beat ride out at the same time to where you're getting the best of both worlds. And that's what I think is really cool because, you know, I'm 50-50 when it comes to it. Like I said, like I'm either listening to a podcast in my car or I'm listening to music. But the fact that we have the ability to get the best of both worlds, like even if it's just for me, we have to scale this because I'm the number one target audience for, for a product like this, you know, two for one. I'm very two birds, one stone type of guy. So if I get two things at once, I'm more enticed to double down on it. So that's what really enticed me to actually jump on this. Dope, man. I'm, like, super happy to be partnered with you and everything, especially with all that you do. You have so many producers that you manage, and you got the label. You're getting people on, you know, shoot, credit is, you know, oh, my goodness. We'll we'll, we'll get into more of his stats. He's humble, you know, but we'll, we'll get into more of that. And... I'm just I'm just really excited, man. But what I will do is I say we we gonna we gonna hold some stuff tight to the chest with announcements and things like that. But just know we are working and we got some things coming. And uh, stay tuned, you know, stay stay tuned, stay tuned. Yeah. Uh, this isn't the official first episode. This is like z- point zero zero one. Uh, but the next one, you know, yeah, we gonna get into it even more. But yes, uh, stay tuned, subscribe, like, share, and um, tell everybody we coming. Yeah, yes, definitely. Thanks for having me on. Most definitely. Any last things you want to say? No, other than, you know, get them while they're hot, get them while they're cheap. Because uh, the second we actually start to, to make some stuff happen, mm. there's no telling how expensive a full production of a album would cost. Major record labels are paying anywhere between five to ten to twenty to thirty thousand dollars for an instrumental for my producers. Um, so breaking it down uh, with a production background myself, you know. 
I don't necessarily need to charge that much just to get the product out the door. But the second the product's out the door and it's being inquired about, we're 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 charging record label prices for these for these yeah. uh, projects, you know. Pretty much. And we're gonna have we already have all the infrastructure to, to make it happen. You know, I got my little in in house studio. Every one of my producers works at a studio or has a studio. Um, most of them are overseas, so when I'm sleeping, they're working, and when yeah. I'm working, they're sleeping. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is a 24 hour prog project. Just keep pushing them out and keep working. Yeah, other than that, this is probably one of the funnest, most exciting little projects I've put together, um, or that I've been able to be a part of, even that, put nothing together, can't take any credit for this genius idea, I'm just honored to be a part of it. Sean is the real mastermind behind all this stuff, gathering all the pieces and, you know, visionary mindset is what really, you know, put this all together. Right people, right place, right time, that's what's really going to make this happen. But yeah. Really proud of the, the progress that uh, you know you've had and I've had throughout this this process, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the future, bro. Because we got so much so much work to do. Subscribe now. <laughs> Subscribe right now. And that's 